Welcome back, everybody. Zoo from Zoo Games YouTube channel on the internet here with you once again. And hey, today we are talking about the most addictive things about No Man's Sky. If you're pretty new to the game and you didn't know, um, this game can get quite addictive. Not for everybody. Everybody's not going to get addicted to it, but... Um, a lot of people do. So we're going to talk about some of the reasons that I think, um, you know, people people really get addicted to this game. You know, so we're going to cover exploring, ships, animals, and, uh, of course, building. Speaking of building, what if you had the knowledge and experience to create your own video games and turn it into an actual career with opportunities for growth? Does that sound exciting to you? Because if it does... I'm going to tell you about Southern New Hampshire University, who is sponsoring this video. They're kind enough to sponsor this video. So SNHU is one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the country. I want to talk to you about their game development program specifically because I thought you guys might be interested in that. Now, in this program, you'll learn like how to create realistic, uh, dynamic gameplay experiences with game AI, game physics, 2D, 3D graphics, interface design. You're going to learn computer programming languages like C++, C Sharp, Java. You'll learn 3D modeling and texturing with game art software. Courses are taught by industry experts who will teach you how to research, develop, and contribute to advances and trends within the field of game programming. Another thing that's really cool is SNHU is like super affordable. Their online tuition rates are some of the lowest in like the nation. So what you need to do, if you, if, you, if that sounds interesting, guys, go to snhu.edu slash... <laughs> Zoo, that's S-N-H-U dot E-D-U slash X-X-I-O-U. Linked in the description below. Get out if you're interested in making your own games. Okay, so the first thing that can be seriously addicting in No Man's Sky is ship hunting. Now, here's my current fleet. This is what I got for right now. If you didn't know, you can have up to nine ships. At first, when you start playing the game, um, you might not realize it, but every ship is different in this game to some extent. So some ships are going to be like really cool finds, like this one to me is a really awesome find. Um, all of these, I didn't find all of these myself, some were found for me by other people. So that's like another thing, um, finding ships for other people can be really rewarding you know you find a ship you post it online and somebody you know gets really excited that that's like their perfect ship so ship hunting guys can be a very rewarding and fun thing to do it, and it's kind of like a chill thing to do too so i mean basically ship hunting is just i'll show you now with ship hunting where you want to do your hunting it really depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a specific type of ship or you're just looking for whatever. I tend to stay in these three star systems, which are risk rich systems, which have the best chance of spawning uh, S class ships. Not that that matters as much as it used to, but I don't know. I still mostly stay in either three star systems or pirate systems. Now, pirate systems have a very, they have the highest chance of spawning the S class stuff. Also, they have the most uh solar ships so if you're looking for a solar ship then pirate systems are where you want to go for that okay so you can ship on at a trading post or a space station i usually do a bit of both sometimes i'll come to the station i'll see what flies in i'll maybe go down to the space station so ship hunting is just a matter there are so the way it works basically guys there is a set amount of ships that can spawn in a system. Now, every time you go to that system, those same ships are going to be there. However, their class changes on reload. So just because you see a ship come in and ask class doesn't mean if you share those glyphs, a person who comes out, oh my God, we just got a first wave exotic. So that's ship hunting. <laughs> that's basically it. Um... Yeah, you take a photo, you share it online. Look at this one. Look at this exotic. Wow. So these are the joys of ship hunting. Finding an exotic, finding a squid, finding some cool fighter. There are so many cool ships in this game, guys. And once you start looking at them, really getting into them, 
you're gonna notice di like minor differences that are actually pretty cool like these decals that are on them um i know at first for me i didn't really pay too too much attention i was just like oh that looks like a cool ship but over the years i've got like this is one of the main things i do is just look at ships and take photos of them and share them on my discord and the other the other ship hunting discords for people but that is basically ship hunting now you know you you could uh we saw what came in here we cataloged it so basically you know you reload you see what comes in next so ricey from ricey starship emporium has a really good idea on how to find the ship you want i'll link that video below all right and the next thing we're going to talk about is planet hunting now planet hunting has gotten a lot better uh since the freighter update so the way i like to do it now is i use the freighter warp drive uh to you know because the freighter has a really far warp drive but uh let's just say you know we're gonna go take care of this system now i personally i enjoy going to undiscovered systems checking out every planet checking out all the ships in the system but planet hunting can be really fun and it's so much easier than it used to be now with the freighter and i'm going to show you in a second once we make it through this warp so okay we made it through the warp so now what you could do okay that this is a first contact so we are the first people to discover this system just run over here we do the planetary probe and bam we can see all the planets right there so if we're looking for like a paradise planet we can just look and see what we got you can decide do you want to go check these planets out so um planet hunting can be a very very fun thing um, especially if you're, you know, into finding paradise planets and stuff like that. And this thing is a must have. You need this. It, it, will, it will make things so much easier because you can just warp to a system, just mouse over, see what the planets are and decide if you want to go explore them or not. Now, this one is kind of surprising to me, but since the update, the companions update has come out, the pets are actually, I, I am very into animals in this game and finding weird or cute ones like that um so hunting for different uh pets can be really really fun um so checking out the animals on planets i mean that kind of goes with planet exploration but it's important to always check out the animals too because you can find some really neat ones i mean look at this cobra diplo that i shrunk down and um what else do we have here you know big worms big birds things like that but you can really get addicted to the pets in this game they're 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 like i don't know they're not that useful but they're just fun to play with they're like funny they you can make them real big do funny things with them um color them but yeah i mean they're not super helpful like they're gonna make you a uh, a billionaire or, or anything but um they're definitely fun to play with and fun to hunt like that's one of the points of going to different planets to see what animals are on there and if you look at them guys it the notes rubber skull and if you keep looking at these animals the notes are like insane so basically what i've been spending my time doing is looking for really big ones so megafauna which i think we is anything over like four meters and then microfauna which is anything under one meter um, so we have been lucky and found a few. So yeah, you can get really into the animals and go in to look for the coolest animals. Because again, like everything else, they're procedural. So no two animals are going to look exactly the same. You know, you'll find, you know, versions of, let's say, this Cobra Diplo. But they're all going to be a little bit different. But yeah, the pets. <laughs> Looking at animals. Very addicting. Now probably one of the most addictive addicting and time sinking things in this game where you can just lose hours is the building the base building in no man's sky is like nothing i've really seen in other games and part of that reason is because you get a lot of you will get a lot of build parts you know especially the longer you play the game however no man's sky while it does have standard like simple build parts like oh okay i want to build a dome or just like a room 
Now, you can do that, and you can build bases like that, but No Man's Sky has a very weird system. We call it glitch building if you don't know about it, but basically the build system allows you to place parts in ways that they're not necessarily intended to be placed, but you can do that through a technique called glitch buildings. Plenty of tutorials if you want to learn how to glitch build. But this is like a glitch built thing. This is something I was working on. I don't know what it is. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's what one of the fun things about the building is. Um, I don't really do base builds anymore. I just do builds that I like to look at a lot of the time. Just like stuff like this. And you can get super creative, guys. Like, trust me. I am not a very good builder. I don't consider myself a very good one anyway. I mean, there's some people in this game that are so incredible that build the most amazing stuff you've ever seen so the building is probably one of the biggest selling points i would say for this game and one of the things that keeps people playing all of the things that we went over in this video are the things i think that keep people playing long term after they finished all the story and the missions if they're even interested in that now there are other things you can get addicted to like the cooking and bite beats and stuff like that what what do you what do you guys think though is the most addicting thing about this game that keeps you playing even though you've done everything already leave a comment below and let me know i'd be very interested to see if like someone is into doing all the cooking and they'd spend all their time on that but yeah i think it'd be fun to see what uh, what keeps people coming back for me it's mainly the ship hunting the planet hunting the animal hunting and the building um you know Every day, I want to come in. I want to at least do a few systems, see what ships, animals, and planets I can find. And yeah, just have fun with it. So yeah, make sure to comment below. And hey guys, if you like this video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. Because I do a lot of No Man's Sky content and I think you might like it. So once again, my name is Zoo from Zoo Games YouTube channel on the internet. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.